Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. Returning subscribers, you know I love you guys, tribers, little tribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you for all the love on the, on um, my previous videos. Thank you, thank you. So I'm getting used to all the love I'm receiving these days. Thank you because I'm not just the love. I think I'm really appreciating the impact. I'm appreciating um, the the impact my videos are having on you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for engaging. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right into this. I have a birthmark on my left leg. Goes, it starts from just above my calf all the way all the way to my back. That's where it stops. So um, my birthmark, I was born with it. Nothing caused it. That's exactly how I was born. And I remember that it was very dark growing up. Like it was much darker than it is now. Now it's about just two shades darker than my normal shade. That's how it is now. But before it was, it was like four shades darker. It just got darker by a bit lighter by itself. I even missed the dark times. Anyway, so I was born with it, and I remember that I was very conscious of it growing up. I, as a baby, of course not. In primary school, I don't remember being really conscious, but yeah, I think I was conscious in primary four, primary five. Um, then secondary school, I was very conscious of it. I always wanted to wear a longer skirt. I always wanted my um, my what's the name of that socks to be long. All those drama. Anyway, Sha, so I remember that I, I was very conscious of it, you know, and I just used to think that anytime I was walking, people were looking at my birthmark. Like if I was working ahead, I was extremely conscious because I thought I would, in my head, it would be that ah, people are looking at my birthmark. People can see my birthmark. That's how I used to feel. So uh, I remember that um, my auntie was going to get married in 2009 and I don't know if she's passed now. Rest well. So she was going to get married and she was living with us at the time. So my mom was very, very involved in the planning of her wedding. So I remember that day she had come back from the market or somewhere, I think. I remember she had a scarf. She had tied her scarf and she had pushed it up. It's called Yamileko, where you're done with the head tie or your head scarf and you move it up. I, I don't know why I can remember that analogy very well. So she had moved it up and she was doing something on the phone. But the tailor was inside with the sitting room as well with us. And the tailor um, was asking what styles we wanted. So my sister had told the style she wanted. I can still remember the beautiful style that my sister made with her long hair. I can't remember. And I said I wanted a long, a very long dress. A very long dress with a sash. This was 2009. I was 17. This was after secondary school, before the university. So, like, I, I, my mom was there. So she was busy on her phone or something. But when she heard me specifying, I want long, I want long. I'd always... At that time, I'd, I didn't have any skirts, you know, apart from school skirts. I always wore trousers. I always wore, I never really wore skirts because at least trousers will cover the leg firmly and all that stuff. So um, I, 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 I told the tailor that then my mom now looks at me and she goes, why? You know, it's like she's still on the phone. She's like, what do you always, you know, like she was still tapping. Why do you always? use but why do you always make long dresses why don't you you're a young girl why don't you make skirts and you know mini skirts and all of that why don't you do that why why are you always wearing long 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 dresses so i said ah mom and i said very innocently that uh you know that my um uh, wasn't that thing my best mark is on my leg and it's will show and it's long and all that so she took she took her she now focused her attention on me and she was like wait what is that why you've been wearing long skirts no 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 don't play to that, you know, um, um, mindset. Like, it's how you appreciate your body that people will help you to appreciate it. Like, be, like I remember she, yeah, that's what she said. Like, love it, then people will love it. Like, love it, then people will love it for you as well. But when you are very conscious of it, people will also be conscious. It's the way you act that people will react to you. So, I think that, I still went ahead and sold my long um, dress. I remember, I still... But I had that in me, you know. So every time, 
since then, that was little by little, I got out of that, you know, knowledge. So recently, I went to see my cousin, and my cousin was, he had walked me to my car, and my favorite cousin, shout out to you, shout out to you, my favorite cousin. So he had walked me to the car, to my car, and he was, he was, um, he opened the car door for me. I sat down. I was trying to get my slippers, change from my shoes to my slippers so I could drive more comfortably. And I was like, ah, cuz, what's this on your leg? I never noticed this on your leg. Like, what happened? I said nothing, though. It's a bad mark that my Jesus gave me. <laughs> he said, really? But does it stop here? I said, no, it doesn't stop here. It goes all the way. All the way to my back. So he was like, oh, really? Like, but, like, the, the surprise on his face made me laugh because I've always had this thing. For 30 years, I've had, always had it. It has never gone, right? And I've never used cream or anything to, you know, I've always had it. I even feel like if I use anything, even if it clears, you will still see the mark that it was there because it's my skin. It's not, it's not going anywhere. So um, that just made me realize what my mom said to me, that how you carry yourself, how you treat yourself is not only for yourself. It's also teaching people how to treat you. Do you understand? So understanding, carrying yourself well, carrying yourself like someone who knows that I'm priceless, even with my imperfection. You know, I'm so, I, I, I'm so in love with imperfection these days that I don't even, I don't really want to have, you know, this skincare thing where your face looks like a glass and all those things. I really don't like it, honestly, generally. I can have that kind of skin. So it's not that, oh, I'm, I'm just settling. No, no, no. I can actually have that kind of skin. But I feel like it's too perfect. And perfection, that's too perfect, just makes me feel, why? Why are you going to stress myself? I, my, I also spoke about the insecurity of my hair, you know, growing up. I grew up with, I, when I was born, there was no hair. I had no hair at my, the back of my head, you know, and it's still shows up in some of the things that I do. Not that I can't do any hairstyle, I can't. But before, I was very conscious of my hair. And the more I was conscious, the more I was shedding my hair. You know, but now that I just treat my hair well, I do the best I can. I'm not really, really that much of a routine person, but I try my best. I apply conditioner, strengthener, oil, all those things. Make sure my hair is well nourished, and I leave it. And the hair is actually going healthier. Not longer. You know, I was so insecure that I almost started to beef everybody that had long hair without trying do you understand but um so my mom used to tell me that time that you have natural and tabaka while people are going to um because that's how my hair is actually very if i roll my hair just set it roll it you will not know that i didn't cut it you understand and a lot i you know i got that a lot growing up so what i'm trying to tell you is embrace your perfect imperfection some of you have birthmarks marks some of you have birthmarks on your face you have on your Breath. I've seen some people that have their breath. Some people have on your chest, you have on your arm. Anywhere. It makes you, you. That means that there can never be another Tony, another Kunle, another Funke, another Jasmine, another Jeremy. There can never be another you wherever you are. Kofi, that is how God made you to be. So, yeah. Bertha, Abiodu, I'm calling on my face. <laughs> that, is, that is how God made you to be. So, please appreciate who you are are how you are don't stop being conscious try your best to not be too conscious about this imperfection such that it robs you of your confidence you know I, I, now i wear everything i wear shorts i wear everything i wear it i'm happy long dresses short dresses so now i don't wear long dresses because i'm trying to cover no because it's beautiful that's why i'm wearing it because it's nice so that's exactly what i want to tell you you are um, our co the, the society and media teaches us to be conscious of our imperfection. I think God wants you to embrace your imperfection. That is where He is more glorified. Because when people now look at you like, ah, this, despite this, this girl is this confident. Despite this, this guy is this confident. Despite this, this person is even more beautiful. Is is does not dim down, dumb down on herself. That is what I'm encouraging you to be. Embrace your imperfection. This season, you know. Um, embrace where you are on the way to where, where you're going. If you cannot afford Christmas photo, photo shoots, use it, use your phone to take a picture. I mean, be happy. 
Embrace where you are, the phase you are at every point in time. I really, really thank my mom because anytime I think about how I embrace my birthmark, I always remember my mother because she's the one who like spoke that thing to me, like don't be conscious of what people will say. And I'll speak to mothers and fathers, please speak life into your children. We go through different phases in our lives. The words you speak with love, those words always will sound in our ears. It's not like, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing your, uh, 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 big deal with death mark? I'll be more conscious. But she said, no, 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 you're beautiful. Continue to, like, flaunt it. Don't let anybody, so wear mini skirts. Forget me now. Have fun. Don't have fun. <laughs> so please, those words, they matter because the society just always tells us. I see people doing BBL now, plastic surgery. I'm not saying, if you want to get a mom makeover, maybe after you have children and you just want to do yourself up a bit. I'm all for that. Yeah, actually, if that's what you want to do, yeah. But make sure that it's not from a place of I'm less of myself and this body is going to make me more of myself. Actually not. No, it's just like makeup. That's what it is. If you don't feel beautiful, even with makeup, you still will not be beautiful. That's just it. It's, it's a thing from of the mind. So please don't go and do BBL that would almost see some of you. It's not even matching. The back, it don't match with the leg. It's just not this BBL killing y'all. You guys, that's, that's how some of you are looking because of, oh, see what Savage did this or this person did this. I'm just going to do it. And you don't know how much they paid for their own day. You go and pay another person this too. Please embrace where you are. If you want, can you do exercise? And if not, just love yourself. Just love yourself, please. That's all I wanted to tell you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sure you've been black. I don't think I've had any, any life experience around it, apart from just that time when my mom spoke with me, and that was it. Now, people are always shocked. Like, oh, Tito, you have the breath. Like, oh, I never say, oh, it's, oh, that. Because it's nothing. It don't do nothing. It just makes me more beautiful, B. That's it. It's like God took a brush and he just painted it. That this one is my daughter. She's my child. Don't touch my child. That's it. Thank you so much for watching up until this point. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Until I see you next time, remain blessed and remain loved. Bye.